One question I get asked all the time is how to tell real authentic Moldavite from fake Moldavite. Here is a real piece and a fake piece next to each other. As you can see, there are many differences between the authentic piece and the fake piece. Honestly, there are four factors that you can rely on when you're trying to spot fake Moldavite. The first factor is shape. Moldavite should not be round, and Moldavite is like a snowflake. No two pieces should be exactly the same. But let me show you something. These top five pieces are almost exactly the same as if they were made from a mold. The second factor is texture. Moldavite texture should be rough, not glossy. It is rare to find a glossy piece of Moldavite. The third factor that you're looking for when trying to spot fake Moldavite is color. You want a deep and sometimes vibrant green, but never radioactive. This is an example of what you are not looking for. It's much too poison green. On the other hand, this piece is authentic and it's a beautiful deep forest green. The fourth and final factor is price. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. The Moldavite market is a little bit crazy right now. Prices have inflated because of the scarcity. There's only one mine currently producing and from what I've read online, they produce three to five grams of Moldavite per 100 grams of sifted soil. There's not a lot of Moldvite coming out of this mine. Prices have gone up because of the scarcity, the rarity, and because there was a big Moldvite boom on TikTok about a year and a half ago. It really sparked people's interest in Moldvite and crystal shops all over the world started getting requests. So naturally, supply and demand, prices have gone up. Retail prices start at 20 to 25 a gram, for rough or broken moldavite, 30 to 50 a gram for good quality moldavite, and 50 to 100 per gram for rare localities such as Bezid Neats. But if you keep these things in mind when you're shopping for moldavite online or in a crystal shop near you, you can possibly spot a fake. I also try to make myself available on Instagram where we're at Mindsai and you can send pictures and videos of Moldavite if you think it's fake. With clear, well-lit photos and videos, I can give you my opinion about whether or not I think it's real. I have about eight years of experience working with and handling Moldavite, and I would be happy to share my opinion and potentially save somebody from purchasing or gifting somebody else a fake. But hopefully these tips will help you and save you from purchasing a fake yourself. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more information about Moldavite, Tektites, Meteorites, and other rare crystals and minerals. Thanks for watching, guys.